So a few months ago, we made a video here talking about how a Ghanaian company called Just One Group of Companies is partnering with major rice industry players in Thailand to understudy their rice sector in order to replicate their experience and strategies in Ghana to boost rice production in the country to make Ghana the hub of high quality rice on the beautiful African continent. Well, the company has done it again, and this time around, just one group of companies has just entered into a historic international partnership with one of the world's leading providers of sustainable vehicle electrification company to start the production and converting fuel-powered vehicles into electric power in Ghana. And this is projected to make Ghana the number one distributor of electric vehicle and other EV related technology throughout Africa. So in today's video, we would like to share with you why Just One Group of Companies is now going to produce electric vehicles in Ghana and which EV companies are they going to partner with. But before we dive into it, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for your massive support. Now let's dive into it. Our world is gradually switching to electric vehicles and this is for a very good reason. One of the primary reasons is the increasing concern over the impact of traditional fossil fuel powered vehicles on our environment. According to Statista.com, fuel powered passengers cars produce approximately 3 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide emission worldwide in the year 2020. Research also shows that fossil fuel usage contributes about 65% of the global greenhouse emission. But when it comes to electric vehicles, they produce significantly less carbon emission than gas-powered vehicles, making them more eco-friendly transportation option. However, the technology behind electric vehicles has over the years faced some challenges like electrical problems, battery issues, and high cost of the electric vehicle itself. But in recent years, the technology behind electric vehicles has improved significantly, making them more practical and efficient. Again, the range of electric vehicles has increased and the infrastructure to support them such as charging station has become more widespread and this has made it easier for people to switch from their fuel powered vehicles to electric vehicles without having to worry about running out of power on the road. The cost of owning an electric vehicle has also decreased as the technology has become more mainstream. The top countries with the highest number of electric vehicles in this year 2023 are China and the United States of America. But very soon, Ghana is going to join these countries because a Ghanaian company called Just One Group of Companies has entered a historic international partnership with one of the world's leading providers of sustainable off-highway vehicle electrification company called Zero Nurse to start the production of electric vehicles in Ghana and converting fuel powered vehicles to electric in the country. This will help transform the beautiful country Ghana as the gateway to electric vehicles and other EV related technology distributor throughout Africa. Because Zeronos is a provider of lithium iron battery technology for agriculture and off-road vehicles. The company is involved in the planning, designing and manufacturing of lithium ion battery system and their battery has features such as rapid charging. They also provide a battery management system for the management and control of electric vehicles batteries. Some of their notable products include double decker bus battery power pack, track battery pack, van battery pack, forklift battery pack, and energy storage system battery. So, through this agreement between Zero North and Jaspon Group of Companies, 1,000 refuge trucks from one of Jaspon Group subsidiaries, a company called Zoom Lion, will be converted from diesel to electric power. And this will help reduce about 40,000 metric tons of CO2 in the atmosphere over the next five years. And again, it is also going to save the company an amount of $323 million over the next five years. 
the executive chairman of Jasmine Group of Companies, Dr. Ajapon, was pleased with this deal and he said this whole thing started as a dream and unreachable goal, but today it is being unveiled before our eyes. And the executive officer and co-founder of Zero Nose also said they are excited to partner with a global leader like the Jasmine Group of Companies in executing the world's largest fleet rebuild electrification project. So let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this inside the comment section below. My name is Sharif Haruna and thank you very much for watching this episode. Please like, subscribe, have a joyful life and see you in our next video. Makrao.